you all know that we have a problem with, with inflation and, and to arrest the inflation problem in the case of the US their inflation rate had gone near um, 9% I believe um, and to arrest inflation and, and bring cut that out of, of the system they have to you have to raise interest rates so what they've been doing in a very dramatic fashion and, uh, and drastically is to raise interest rates from near zero in a matter of a little over a year to five and a quarter percent already so the fed has raised interest rates um, roughly five percent in one year that has a ripple effect throughout the world um, certainly that impacts on, on belize but it also impacts directly these these international financial institutions because they raise money by placing their their um, bonds or debt on the international markets and and their their rates or interest rates are are inextricably linked to what what the fed basically is doing so as the fed raises interest rates everybody's um, interest rates go up it's repriced and it goes up and so when we borrow we borrow we end up having to borrow at, at higher rates so so looking at that and, um, and that um, scenario that we are in and recognizing that the, the new phrase is higher for longer the expectation is that interest rates will, will remain higher for a longer period of time um, really to, to um, get a a hole, a stronger hole on inflation and bringing that down, um, we have to look at how we plan so that we minimize our our interest costs um, at the same time. So, so that's when why we've been looking at all these different avenues to, to access a much lower um, cost of capital than pertains or obtains on the on the international market.